Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have some incredible dupes to talk about, some things that I would highly recommend and some viral dupes that I put to the test myself that did not make the cut, but we're gonna chat about it all. I have 20 in front of me, so let's dive on in and talk about how to save money and get products that perform like those luxury items. Where are we gonna start? You know what, we're gonna do this a little bit out of order and I wanna start with the eyes. You guys know I recently raved about the brand new drop from Patrick Ta. Now this is definitely splurge worthy. It's an incredible formula. So I have an option that I was a little bit skeptical when I saw this popping up on TikTok. If you just search for dupes, some of it is an immediate eye roll and some of it makes me go, huh. I need to pop on over to Ulta and pick that up and put it to the test and swatch it and try it and do the whole thing. So we have a dupe from Juvia's Place and all in all, this palette I would recommend even if it doesn't hit every high note as far as every shade in this all matte palette. This one has shimmers and this palette is a fall mood. It's so beautiful and the mattes in here are ridiculously smooth. I was blown away. I was like, I don't know, like Patrick Ta is really doing it with this matte formula. It is smooth, it has a lot of blendability. How can this Juvia's palette compete at all? And I was really shocked. This is 25 bucks versus 70 and you do get a lot of panage. You get two creams in here and 10 mattes. And in the $25 Juvia's Place, the coffee shop palette, you are getting 16 shades. Some of them are shimmery. I used all the mattes today and literally I could not believe that I was able to take this cream right here and blend it on the lid with my fingertip. It is that buttery and that buildable, movable, blendable. I just really love this palette and I will be reaching for it a ton. And it is a fraction of the $70 ticket on the new Patrick Ta. Natasha Denona just came out with a gorgeous, beautiful gem of a palette. Now I'm going to have a full disclosure moment with you guys. This is one that I'm gonna have to test, try, swatch, play another time, but I did wanna hold them up side by side just so you can get an idea of something that you could pick up literally at your grocery store because my grocery store carries Moira. You can purchase this on Amazon as well. This is the Sugar Delight. Now, when you look at this at first glance, you think, Hmm, not really, but this is a $12 palette. This is a $69 palette. Now, why I am recommending these two, um, I love the Moira formula, love the Natasha formula. The tones in both of these are very thematically the same. You have these beautiful, cool tones, but it still has this gorgeous kind of chocolate feel to it. And then you have some beautiful shimmers in the Natasha, which I think she's gonna take the cake. Obviously the shimmers in here are gonna be next level, but if you you just wanted to spend 12 bucks and have a palette for fall that has not so many you know warm tones you want to go more in that cool tone vibe but not too gray you want this kind of color idea i just thought this was a really really good one this is me rifling through my drawers and i love charlotte tilbury i think we all agree that these single hypnotized pop shots are phenomenal like they are so stunning but they're expensive we can go to Target, grab Jason Wu, and this is going to be a shadow topper. Very, very similar. The Jason Wu has a little bit of glitter in it, which I personally love. I actually think that is the sprinkles on top. Not everyone agrees with me when it comes to glitter. Some people are like, put it back. It's ruining my life. I don't want the glitter, but you guys know it's a love affair that won't die. All right, I feel like I will be buried with glitter on the eyes. Like that will be a request. Like. Lay me down in the earth, glitter. My favorite photo shoot ever was of course for Tati Beauty and literally at the end of that photo shoot, it was like this impromptu thing where I was like, give me all the glitter. And I had the most euphoric moment of my life where I literally, it was like my fantasy come true. And I'm like taking glitter and like rubbing it down my neck. And I'm like, ah, this is how I want to live. And as much as glitter can be totally annoying because come on, it is, it like sticks around for a week and it gets everywhere. It does make you feel a little more dazzling. So if you're looking for a top coat on the cheap that is going to really brighten the eyes 
size that has that Charlotte Tilbury kind of luxury feel and effect. Just grab some Jason Wu. This is the single Ready to Sparkle number two. Save your cash if you are wanting to try this very beautiful, very incredible Make by Mario Master Pigment Pro pencil, the perfect brown. I mean, you hear the perfect brown and you're just like, yeah, give that to me. Why are you not coming up? I just bought you. <sighs> I have bought this a couple of times and I think I even said that it was like not worth the hype. I love Makeup by Mario products and uh, they're great, but they're expensive. If you're looking for a liner in general, Sephora brand liners are phenomenal. They are very budge proof. They have a great array of colors, last all day. They apply really well. They remind me so much of the Makeup Forever Aqua. Why can't I think of the name of it? <gasps> okay, we're having like some technical difficulties here. My Makeup by Mario pencil came malfunctioned. Okay, the whole sucker popped out. This can happen to any brand. Sometimes when you are mass producing product, it can happen. Let's look at this one that I swatched in store side by side and is identical to the Perfect Brown from Makeup by Mario, but it's only $12. A beautiful matte brown that glides with no hesitation and wears really beautifully. I saw in a bunch of videos that this right here from e.l.f., specifically the shade Copper, is a dupe for a couple of Bobbi Brown, a couple of different other high-end um, shadow sticks, and honestly, there are better on a budget. This is fine, it's all right, it's not great. So instead of giving you a straight dupe color-wise for other high-end shadow sticks out there, I thought I would take just a brief moment in this dupe video and share with you that if you are looking for shadow sticks on a budget, that you should head on over to LA Girl. These Sunkissed Glow Sticks are the best. They are so creamy. You can wear them as a shadow. You can smoke it out on the lash line and you're just done. They have a lot of metallic shine, glimmer. They're budge proof, beautiful. These are retractable. If you like something that you can sharpen, go for Milani. The Gilded Flora Shadow Stick, but they have like a ton of different shadow sticks that are great. And if anyone still uses Rimmel, their liners are also like a best kept secret. Write it down, any of their liners, whether it is a pencil liner that's thin or a chubby stick, that is what I would recommend. Also, do we like the outfit? Well, you can't really see my whole outfit. I think I needed to get a smaller size in this top. I am rocking Abercrombie again. I have no affiliation with them. I know I keep wearing Abercrombie. I just love what they're doing right now. And I got more cargos. I can't stop myself. Anytime I see another color in this particular fit, I buy another one. It has become a sick addiction. And I actually have panic that they're gonna stop making these pants because they are my absolute favorite. They fit so well, they're so comfortable. I got this top from them. But honestly, I don't think I like it that much. This is, I think, a medium. It's pretty, like we got we got a lot of fabric here, you know what I'm saying? I love telling you guys kind of what the whole outfit is recently, and you guys seem to enjoy it. On the nails, we got Sasha 2.0 from Loud Lacquer, loving it still. Amazon for the earrings, some fancy stuff, and then Kendra Scott. Okay, let's move back into the makeup. Let's go to lips. I wanna talk about what I'm wearing today. The first thing James said when he saw me with my makeup done today, he's like, ooh, you look really nice. I like the pink lips. I think guys like pink lipstick for some reason because I wear nude almost every day of my life. I never get that response. And then when I wear red, like I just don't think he likes it. I think it feels like he can't kiss me or like there's something about me in a red lipstick that I don't think James likes at all. So we're gonna talk about some Pillow Talk dupes, one of the best pinks in the game and a very iconic shade that everybody loves. Charlotte Tilbury does lips so incredibly well. Now I was hesitant when I saw that there was a dupe for Pillow Talk from Milani that people were raving about. This is the Understatement Lip Liner in Desert Rose. Now this is a twist up and this is Sharpen. I personally prefer Sharpen pencils. I've shared with you guys before that I really like kind of dragging the pencil and when I'm overlining, I feel like I have better control with a Sharpen pencil and I think they're more hygienic. That's just me. Do I think that this is better than the Charlotte Tilbury formula? No, I do not, but the color is really similar and it's beautiful. If you are looking for an everyday pink that is not too pink, but not 
too nude. It's just that like just right. Desert Rose from Milani is a gorgeous formula. It's a little more silky. Like it's a little more, not waxy, but it has more slip. Okay, now if you wanna be freaked out by a color match that is just like, we're identical. We are gonna go with 173 Impertinent from L'Oreal. Now I'm gonna swatch these for you. This is a dupe for Pillow Talk, the lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. Now the L'Oreal one has more shine, which I actually do enjoy, but these two, the base of them, if you can see, it's the same. It's exactly the same. The only difference is this is a thinner formula and it has more of a cream shine. Whereas this one is not, I don't think this is matte. It's like, it's still a cream. It's just not as shiny as this one right here. Now I love the way that Charlotte Tilbury lip products smell. L'Oreal, that's my only drawback. It's the rose thing. I just I have an issue, but sometimes the colors are so pretty that I'm like, forget it, we'll wear it anyway. And this is definitely one of those. All right, let's talk a little Tarte, the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. These are so good. I understand the hype. I think they're amazing. They're so gloppy, but like in the best way. I am wearing majority of the drugstore version just to illustrate what a makeup look can look like when you're using all budget, products that you can still do your makeup and look absolutely amazing and have longevity from it if you're not shopping at the department store. So I always love sharing that because when I first started out doing makeup, I could not afford any of this. And actually I used to use makeup from the 99 cent store exclusively because I moved out when I was 18 and I was broke as a joke. So I always love to say you can get it done on a budget. Your artistry matters more than the products sometimes. So if you wanted to get in on the whole juicy stick lip trend. Flower Beauty has got you covered. This is a beautiful plump lip gloss stick. It has a little bit of a minty tingle, but it's not aggressive. And it's kind of the same, you know, pump up at the bottom deal. It's not as gloppy, but it does have a nice amount of goopiness to it. I actually like that these are gloppy. It's a weird thing. It's like a sensory, like, like I'm putting on a melted chapstick and I like it and somehow it works. So this one is not as gloppy. If that annoyed you about any of these, check out the flower version. This is the color spicy which is a pretty close dupe to the Tarte in Primrose. So let's move in to the face. I wanna talk primer for a moment because I got so excited when I watched this TikTok and I'm actually going to put it up here somewhere. I have some final thoughts. These are dupes. They apply the same, they feel the same, and they made my makeup look the same. This NYX Plump Right Back Primer is said to be a dupe for the Sicily Double Tensor that I just reviewed for $220. Spoiler alert, I love it. It has a lot of botanicals and different ingredients that really firm the skin. And I view it as a skincare item, not so much just a primer. Uh, so this one has oat extract. It is said to create kind of a second skin. It really lifts and tightens and hydrates and helps your makeup last longer and all the things. But do we really need to be spending that kind of money? I mean, I will for makeup investigation purposes, but seeing a TikTok where this was said to be a dupe, what do you think I did? I grabbed the keys, went to Ulta, hunted this down and slathered my face in it. And you know what? This does plump the skin. It does sink in really quickly. It does help the makeup to wear longer and it has a nice gripping effect as well. Now this does include five different types of electrolytes, vitamins, so you are getting that skincare hit as well, but it's definitely not $220. Is it as good as the double tensor? No way. No, it's not as good as the double tensor, but it's pretty good. If you're looking for that texture and you want some skincare and plumping, this is definitely one to check out and I love the pump. I was talking about this iconic underglow blurring primer for the longest time. You could not not hear me talk about it in a video and it just got to a point of like, okay, we get it, we get it, you're using it, you like it. And every time I wear this primer under my makeup, it just gives this really beautiful velvet blurring effect, but it does add a little bit of hydration and I really love this primer. It is expensive. It's something that you're gonna find at Sephora. I do have a dupe right here from Flower. This is the Skin Smoothie Radiant Glow Primer. 
And this was just from me rifling through my collection. I was like, yo, these are very similar. Yes, this comes in a dropper. And initially the Iconic is more liquidy, but the dry down is the same. It has this kind of velvet finish that blurs, but it's a little bit radiant and it adds a little hit of hydration. So it kind of is that all in one primer. Unless you have oily skin, I would avoid it. It's gonna be too much for you. You don't need radiance. But if you have combo or dry skin, this primer from Flower is really, really nice. And this is here for some reason also. Ugh. Use this today from Wet n Wild. Really sorry about the clown music. Uh, silicone free, great for making your pores not look huge. Okay, let's talk about Laneige. Is it Laneige? Have I been saying it wrong the whole time? I'm really insecure about this. Somebody please tell me. I don't know how to say this one either. Carnell? Carnell Berry Lip Night Mask. This is the closest dupe to Laneige that I have come across. A lot of you guys were commenting, DMing me. I have heard about this as a dupe from so many people, finally tried it, and it is a fraction of the price. This one is still like my, like, ah, uh, like I just, uh, I just don't know why. I just love you, I prefer you. Like you're just like a little bit better, but this is pretty dang close. The only thing I will say about this Carnell Berry Lip night mask, which I tend to use during the day because I like that nice hit of high shine and hydration. This is petroleum based. The Laneige one is not. So it has that kind of Vaseline-y feel to it. If you don't mind that ingredient, this is wonderful. It does give you the same juiciness as the Laneige. I just still prefer this one, but this is the closest that I found. I'll leave it to you to be your own investigator. Now this is odd because this actually blows Laneige out of the water in my opinion, and it's like five bucks from Catrice. The Lip Jam Hydrating Lip Gloss is better in my opinion than the Lip Glowy Balm. They have a similar tube, that squeezy tube. These are what you would take on the go. And this right here, I'm actually gonna put some on. This right here from Catrice just gives you that beautiful full shine and not that my lipstick was looking in need of a refreshment during this video like you know I sat down ready to film but if I've eaten lunch if I'm out and about and I need something to make my lipstick come back to life this is one of those that will save the day because it just gives you a little hydration to kind of boost everything back to life and it's one of the best cheapy balms that I've ever come across okay so let's now talk a little foundation I'm wearing a new one today and I love it and hate it all at once. This is said to be a dupe for the Huda Beauty Faux Filter, which I have been using nonstop. I had to take a break because this one over time does clog my pores, but sometimes you just feel like being reckless and you're like, you know what? I deserve a week of my life where my skin looks flawless, but this is one of the best full coverage foundations out there. This is a luminous matte and it is true to its name. It does not dry you out. It gives you insane coverage. It is long wearing. It is not totally transfer proof, but pretty dang close and I love it. I saw that a few people were saying that the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear, this is good for, I think someone with drier skin. I don't know what it is recently, but Maybelline foundations get gummy on me. I like it for about half the day and then it just kind of like, I feel like I need powder or something. It does, it does something. Tell me, do you guys like this one or not? It's supposed to be long wear and I just, I want it to wear longer looking fresher for more than like five hours. But if you don't have the same issue that I have with all your oils constantly wanting to press out of your skin, then you might like it. It is very buildable, not crazy full coverage, but it is a buildable coverage and it is a thicker consistency for something that comes in a pump, kind of similar to the faux filter from Huda Beauty. All right, we're gonna give an honorable nod to Catrice, the HD liquid cover foundation. This is one of the best if you want a matte finish from your foundation and full coverage. I am obsessed with this foundation. Depends where my skin is at. Like this is a good summertime foundation for me. It is sweat proof. It has niacinamide as an added ingredient and it's just beautiful glass jar dropper the whole thing feels very luxe the price is not it's like 10 bucks this compares to the Lancome Tint Idole ultra wear if you've been looking for something that is similar to this guy right here long wearing more mattifying but you don't want to spend the high-end price go and check out Catrice smash hit 
alert. Okay, we all love the Charlotte Tilbury powders. This is the airbrush finish powder. If you're into makeup and you have not heard of this powder, I just don't even know what to tell you. This is such a good powder. You know what? I need to powder. Let's powder. Let's powder one side here. Pore blurring, great touch up powder. Boots number no. seven has come in swinging. This is such a gorgeous powder. This is the Lift and Luminate Triple Action Pressed Powder. So this is more illuminating, but if you're touching up the T-zone and you don't want crunchy, overly mattifying touch up, you want something that has a little bit of that slip to it. And I really love this formula. I'm kind of shocked. It might be my new favorite drugstore formula. All right, this is just a weird one for me that was kind of like, I'm gonna try this just out of sheer curiosity. I had bought the Makeup Forever Twist and Light because I was loving the Givenchy so much. I'm like, oh, this is another color correcting, like little bit of shimmer, like it's gonna be amazing. I must try this. And I put it on and I looked like the Tin Man. Like it was too shiny. I did not like this. But out of curiosity, I got the Moira just to kind of see like, is this the same? And the Moira one, oddly enough, is better. It's more mattifying. It is not shiny, shiny. So if you wanted one of those color corrector, kind of like, oh, look, like each compartment is doing something to diffuse like dullness or redness in the skin and just make you look a little healthier. It's kind of like a loose, crushed version of the meteorites maybe. You're not really gonna see it. Like I can't swatch it for you guys and have you go ooh ah ooh. But if you're looking for that kind of product and you don't want it to be shiny, I would go with Moira. Okay, moving on, let's talk blush. I'm shocked by this Juvia's Place. Look at this. Bright pink, if you're in a pink mood, you want that pretty pop of pink on the cheeks. You've been hunting down the $40 Dior blush. Save your cash, you don't need this. It's beautiful, no doubt, but you don't need it. And this is, I think like half the price and you get two large pans of pink. This one right here is literally identical. Like I kid you not, I freaking identical. This one's more pigmented, a little more pigmented, but not by much. You don't want this kind of a pink to show up and be chalky. Um, that's, I think, what is kind of special about the Dior one is that it does apply really naturally. I was shocked that this one applied the same way where it wasn't overpowering and just gave such a similar, similar look. Okay, let's talk about setting the face. All Nighter Hall of Fame. Love this one. We'll never not like this one. I have had so many nights on the town where I really feel like I went home and I was like, you know why my eyeshadow is still looking so amazing? Cause I closed my eyes and I drenched my whole face with All Nighter from Urban Decay. And this was like over 10 years ago. People were like, how do I get my makeup to last? And no one was making setting sprays. And I felt like I have the trick for you. Since then, there have been so many that have come out on the market. Do we see behind me my tray of mists? Sometimes I just come in here for no reason and I'll just grab one and I'll just, it's just satisfying. I'll just spray the face. So this is the one that's most often recommended as a dupe for the all nighter. I think it's partially because of the way it mists. Okay, we have a fail on our hands. This one usually mists so good. Come on, drugstore, come through. Are you clogged? Are you mad at me? What are you doing? Behave, I like you. I've bought you several times, okay. Normally this is a great one and is actually an elongator of your makeup, much like the Urban Decay. We're just gonna keep it moving. All right, we have a dupe for the Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer and Butter Biscuit formula is identical. Revolution Beauty, the Ultra Cream Bronzer and Light. I am shocked that the formula is literally, it's the same product. Now, I don't know how much I like a cooler toned cream contour, and they only have three shades, I believe, in the Revolution. It's not my favorite. Let's all hope it looks good in the camera, but when I was doing my makeup here, I did, you know, my cream contour, and I put on the nose contour, and then I had to grab something from the other room. <laughs> And I looked in the mirror and I was like, ah, and like literally it was like two lines on my nose. And I'm like, gosh, lighting just changes makeup 
so dramatically, you know? Um, so keep that in mind, especially when you're using a cream that is more cool toned. You really wanna go in with a light hand because it actually comes across like a shadow. So I prefer to use a lighter hand, something like RCMA and a little bit of warmth in it. That's kind of my go-to, but I still wanted to talk about the formula being very, very similar. Okay, we have a brow product dupe. Now, Anastasia came out with this Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax and they really like do brows the best. Like they were the first to just like be all about the brows. I just remember being in that Beverly Hills salon and learning about eyebrows and eyebrows are so important. And I think there was a story about her like getting on a plane to go and like do JLo's eyebrows. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I will always have a soft spot in my heart for brow products from Anastasia. Now, this guy right here can be easily duped. You do not need to spend the cash on this one right here. Catrice Brow Fix will fix you right up. This is a shaping brow wax. I don't use these often because to be honest, I don't have a lot of brow hairs, but if I wanna do that look where things are more pulled up, more laminated, and I don't wanna be using a gel for whatever reason, this is a really cool product to just have on hand, but save yourself the cash. Just spend like five bucks. Go grab some Catrice, play around with it. Okay, I think that is it. That was such a rundown of dupes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want more, because I actually have another drawer next to me that I'm stockpiling even more dupes because it's kind of a fun thing for me in my collection to sit down and like swatch everything or go out and buy the drugstore version and compare it to things I already have on hand. I love making these videos. Let me know if you have any other dupes that I should try. Leave that in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Make sure you are subscribed and ring the bell before you leave. Thank you so much for spending time with me. It means so much. I hope you're having a great day, whatever you are doing, and I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah.